Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. In today's video let's talk about one more of the differences between the Boeing 737-600-700 and the 800. And the topic of today's video is going to be the tail skid. Now, the tail skid is what we can see right here on screen, and it is available for the Boeing 737-400, 800, 900, and the MAX 8, 9, and 10. So, what is a tail skid, and why do we need it? Well, the reason we need it is rather obvious if we have a look at the length of the fuselage on the 737-800. So, we can see that if you imagine the airplane rotating, the fuselage is coming very very close to the runway. On a normal flap 5 takeoff we're looking at about 50 centimeters of uh, tail clearance so the tail is going to become f just 50 centimeters above the ground during the rotation and if you're doing a flap 1 takeoff you're even looking at just 33 centimeters. The tail strike itself would occur at 11 degrees of um, pitch so normal liftoff attitude is about 8 degrees which means that at a normal rotation rate of two to two and a half degrees per second, you're looking at just over a second, making the difference between a tail strike or a normal rotation and liftoff. So, because of the increased risk of tail strikes, Boeing are offering the tail skid in the 737 uh, series, and there are two different types of tail skids available from Boeing. PMDG is only modeling one of them, which is the one position tail skid, which we can see on screen right now. I'm not going to go into further detail about the two position tail skid, since that is uh, not part of the simulation. So let's quickly talk about um, how the tail skid itself is basically um, made up. So basically, in here we have a cartridge, which is getting compressed in case the tail contacts the runway. And the tail skid is designed in a way that the tail skid on takeoff is always going to be the first thing and then hopefully the only thing that is going to contact the runway. So if you were to have a tail strike then you would find scratch markings right on here. And um, we then have this little indicator back here that is basically as long as it's showing green it's kind of fine. However. Keep in mind, you always have to contact maintenance in case a tail strike happens, so the airplane will always have to be inspected by an engineer. However, this um, scale back here is uh, helping the engineer to determine the course of action necessary. If it becomes all red, then chances are very high that fuselage damage has occurred, and therefore major maintenance is going to be required. Now, I'm not an engineer, so I can't tell you the exact levels, at um, which different action might be necessary. What counts for us as pilots is that on every walk around we are checking the tail skid back here and we are checking for scrape markings on uh, this very part of the tail skid. So the tail skid itself is however only indicative of a tail strike on takeoff because on landing, due to all different kinds of um, airplane body attitudes possible, it might be possible that a different part of the airplane could contact the runway potentially first before the tail skid. So, there is uh, one very important sentence that has been added to the FCOM, which reads, Caution, cartridge assembly, warning placard must be checked as soon as possible after the tail strike, the tail skid skirt fairing may re-extend due to gravity as time passes, resulting in a reading error on the warning placard decal. So that placard decal is basically the one with uh, green and red over here. And um, if a tail strike occurs, you got to check it as soon as possible. Because as we can see, the cartridge is going to become compressed when the tail skid happens because all of this is being pushed inwards. However. Since gravity is slowly pulling it out once again, we um, have to check it as soon as possible in order to get an accurate reading. So this basically concludes our look at the tail skid in the Boeing 737-800 aircraft. I hope that you have found this one interesting, and if you did, leave a comment what you think about it. Do you think it's a good system, and do you think that PMDG should actually model the two-position tail skid as well? And subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet. 
And finally, if you really want to support the channel, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me A Coffee link that you can find in the video description below. Until then, thank you very much. I hope that all of you are going to have the 737-800 in their hands very, very soon. And until then, have an excellent afternoon, evening, morning, night, whatever it is when you're currently watching this. Thank you very much for your attention and see you around.